So, hear me out. Or don't. <laughs> like I fucking get. Uh, I just want to know. What's so bad about the game? Why is everyone mad? This is just game. Why does he look like Steven Seagal? Oh my god, he looks like Steven Seagal. Call me Ishigami. I will forget your name. Ministry of Defense. External Affairs. Because, a spoiler alert, he doesn't ministry. show up Think for the next like couple of missions, here. and I already forgot he was in the game. And she will provide you with the details. Mizuki McLeod, Japan Air Self-Defense Force Special Security Unit, Flight Officer First Class. Yesterday, an unknown group launched a terrorist attack in London. Oh, They've taken the London. control of the area around the Prime Minister's residence. I'm glad that there was absolutely no defense force that the British Isles could ever have that could prevent this from happening. Oh no. Thank God we're friends with Japan and this anime man. Show him the video. This was just sent to us by the government. Hey, that's not Tony Blair. Hey, that's not the other guy. Ah, there's our Prime Minister. I would have voted for him. It's you they want. Ryu Hayabusa. How many times are we gonna say his fucking name? <laughs> like they're like Ryu Hayabusa. Ryu Hayabusa. I think they want you. Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah, we get it, that's his name. And now I become the Ryu Hayabusa, God of Death. Yes, it's not like the whole of Hayabusa, London is a me? no military aircraft, no yeah, fly yeah. zone, and you will be shot down if you did that. <laughs> Any armed soldiers down there are fair game. Oh really? The no, armed terrorists are fair game. Right? Wouldn't have worked that out. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. <laughs> hey. Hey, you know, if... Uh, it's... I'm, I'm now a flying squirrel ninja. This just... Falcon ninja. Whatever. Look, he's dead. I killed him. So... It doesn't look... Too bad, and to describe the feeling of this control, for some reason, it just feels like a little slower than two, and a lot more like they were trying to add impact, but it just makes him feel, I'd say, like a couple of frames more sluggish than he was in 2. Also you'll notice his dodge is super wide. Immediately after finishing Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1, because I played him in the most fucked up order possible, I thought, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I will play, uh, I will just try this level out on normal. And I got fucking bodied by the second mob after the tank and was like... I'm sorry, what? I heard, I heard people hated this game because it was too easy. And then now I'm playing it, I'm playing it on hero mode. And... Hero mode's too easy. It's exactly the same game for basically like, as two. There's not really anything that you could say so far that makes you go, oh shit, there's new mechanics. It's really like the L1 is block, then you can do the evade. Eventually you unlock the swallow dive thing where you take their heads off. You can do the guillotine throw after you've unlocked it. 
but for some reason you could do the jumpers if you're guillotine throwing before you have the guillotine throw. Oh, oh, I was hoping to jump on the truck. Okay. What is it with Japanese video games and we love destroying Wait, London. Look at us destroying London. I get it, you tried to destroy London before and failed. <laughs> oh no! I say that because this, this gives me huge Devil May Cry 5 vibes because Shocker. London. <laughs> Well, Red Grave City is very, very London-y. Looks like you got rid of it. We can't do anything with that thing around. <laughs> they tried to make him sound more angry, I think, in this one. Oh, here comes a new mechanic, get ready. That's, that's not the mechanic. Oh, look, the London Eye. Everyone's no least favorite Ferris wheel. If you ask Roger any that. taxi driver in London. There's a new mechanic. This is also a new mechanic, but like, you may have noticed, it's basically slowly walk forwards and press triangle. Or jump and hit a few quick time buttons, and that counts as new gameplay, so... Yeah, I can s I mean, more dynamic cameras on the Ninpo, but like, as you can see, you wait for a bar to fill up, and then the game screams at you until you use it for the first couple of missions, and it's like, you're not using your Ninpo. Why aren't you using your Ninpo? And you're like, because the previous games taught me to not use them because I lose points. Gonna see soon why I don't like hero mode. Because it's basically journalist mode, and I didn't realize that. So I need to get good. This is my first time playing the game. Don't kill me. All those hardcore ninja guy in three fans who are always not playing on master ninja mode. So, yes. I played the fucking game here, break, dude. Like I said, I'm not. So the way he play, he handles this. That bloody rage mechanic is actually a new mechanic. I think I can't remember. So I played them in a weird order. Remember, so. I don't think it is, I think it just ties into the obliteration techniques. Except we just called it something else this time. You can also see this game decided that it oh and this. You can save now through Falcon. And he gives you a weapon. I have weapon now. <clears throat> so yeah, instead of you finding the weapons in the world, because apparently too many people walked by them in 1 and 2, you now just, the Falcon just gives you one. <laughs> it says, no, he, he stop ignoring it. Maybe I should fail those things and see what happens. Do I just get hit by the truck in this game over? They actually give you points for using Ninpo this time. At the end, they would calculate how much Ninpo you have left. Eh, uh, still called obliteration techniques. If you look closely there, you, it just it doesn't look as good. Look. Like, it's just like his foot is just clipping through the guy's model rather than like. It's, you know, actually, like, violent. <laughs> I, I love playing Sigma 2 and then, like, censoring a lot of the violence back out, unless I was playing, like, the Japanese version. I'm pretty sure they censored a lot of the violence out. 
Um, just to play three Razor's Edge and then just go, hey, you want violence? <laughs> it's back to exactly where 2 was when I played it on the 360. As you can see, the game thinks I'm bad, so it's telling me how to keep playing. <laughs> I finally did the thing, look. I used the, the, the red. I used the red. Ow. <laughs> I think I was supposed to wait for him to blow it up. I was trying to jump over it. is helping us. Disappears because stealth section. Ghost kill! You can also see I am literally just walking through the lasers. And I'm walking towards him and he can't see me, which makes me think this. I fucked up there too. And this game, this difficulty level, just. Unless you get away with a lot. <laughs> Unless you get away with a lot. Very 7th generation levels of forgiveness. Oops. Oh well that's where the... Mm. Okay, I fucked up. Sounds so like, tired. Oh, I can handle it. <laughs> This is around the time I realized when I was playing it where I was like, oh, I don't think I can be killed at this difficulty because I fuck up this boss fight, watch. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm failing quick time events. I don't know what it wants me to do. It changes the quick time event because it sees I'm a failure. It's spamming rockets and force fields and I'm just standing there going, oh. Oh yeah, explosions indeed hard for my vision. And this is going to show soon. But now I'm hard locked into it basically. And I'm too lazy to play the game properly because like Okay, so the first prompt was mesh square and then when it saw I instantly failed it because I was spamming triangle it changed it to mesh triangle then <laughs> if you want <laughs> clearly like a triangle <laughs> Do you want me to jump on it? What do you want me to do with this discount shago hog? <laughs> oh, I see one of the I missed. I can't get... Fuck! I just want to get round his leg, and the camera's stopping me. I have to go the other way around. It's just bad. Why just put an invisible wall where it, and then try and catch me again on the same shit? Okay, it doesn't auto correct me quick time, it just happened that I fucked up the square point once. Now it's giving me squares. As you can see, 
Chelsea have been on this suspicious low amount of health and never went down from that ever again even though I took loads of air AoE hits and I'm like Amazing. Such power. Roger. I'm trying to look for pickups normally they have pickups but it's a lot more linear <laughs> oh, somehow I missed that the first playthrough. He's like, I'm on fucking fire! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> okay, at least. Oh, I say at least. Because, you know, this, this ninja game needs quirky one liners, but. Like, I didn't. You didn't take me with you. Yeah, and this is also where you see, oh, if I suck, the game just goes, that's okay. I'm bad too. And auto fucking avoid shit for you like some built in spider sense. You'll see at the end of this battle, because they summarize each battle. Ah yes, they're called ultimate techniques, obliteration techniques are where you execute a guy without a limb. Like that. That's an easy mood thing as well. <laughs> yeah, you see there the red. Auto guard. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I apologize to myself. What do you want me to do? Ah, okay. Through dagger. Oh, you don't just want me to mash? I thought it just wants me to mash. These prompts are not that clear. Do you want me to alternate? Okay, that could have been clearer. Um, why did you think that I wanted to do that? That's just like there's so many wall running things in the game already. Why would I want to do an event where I just hold down the shoulder buttons? Okay, I guess I'll go this way, but I don't want to miss out on the shiny. Oh, it's just here. Yes, I gotta kill the guys first. <laughs> that was the most flaccid shuriken strike ever. It just goes, look at that, they're just like flopping all over. Oh, these guys have armor, which makes them even less fun to play. I think it says a lot about how you feel about a character action game if when you meet a slightly tougher armored enemy if your response is oh a slightly harder tougher enemy oh okay oh no i'm on baby mode so they won't give me the thing oh no, that's bullshit and you have to do some challenge and they're like, no, you're too dumb. Oh, that's, that's, that's no good. Oh I, oh, I feel so bad. I don't need you to tell me where to go, I'm just sad. Yeah, walk by the skull, because you're bad at the video game. 
Jeez. Oh well, that's what I get for blind running and just picking a difficulty level. Yee. What was I saying? Yeah. If you're first, you know, if you meet a slightly tougher armored enemy, your first reaction to it tells you a lot about your opinion of the action game. For example, if I meet an armored enemy in, say, Devil May Cry 5 or 4, my first reaction is, oh, cool, they... they Got a armored enemy. Cool. I'm. Sh I'll be interested to see how the mechanics of the game make this a more varied and interesting fight. If you're playing a game and the first thing you think is, "Oh shit, they've got they put tougher enemies in." This is just going to be a painful ball ache that's going to take more time. Also, this is a skill tree. Look. I can heal myself when Ninpo, which just feels like bullshit. Oh, it's not just, oh, I have to press a button and I've got all the combos up. Yeah, I just want to use sword. You know the hostages are being held? No, we can't monitor anything inside the residence. Ah, yes, the Prime Minister's residence, accessible from a random rooftop with no doorway <laughs> between the two. Ah, oh, they got these still. They've got the skulls and the scarabs. But no Muramasa because they thought he looked too old and stupid, I assume. Yeah. Or he doesn't show. Damn. I was There's too busy blood. all running to pay attention to the story. Are the hostages already? I'm going on. I don't know if they're dead. Yeah, I'll follow the trail of blood, I guess. That Prime Minister has terrible taste in flooring. Every room's a different checkered pattern. <sighs> so these guys are fine, because they kind of act like the normal grunt guys from the second game, you know, like the Black Spider Ninja Clan guys. But they have guns, so they're more like the guys on the helicarrier. But, uh... You don't need to tell me that every single time. By the way, it's healing you. Great. Thanks for reminding me I'm a scrub. The executive office is up oh, hello. His mask was clipping through my shoulder. Did the scarab still give me a discount? Is there even a Muramasa shop in this game? I notice they also just got rid of the dragon shrines to save, and instead you have to wait for the falcon. So yeah, these guys. I always feel like if your response to seeing an armored guy like this is... Oh, this is... This was horrible. Oh. Oh no, I have to play the game more? <laughs> That's maybe a sign that you're either not getting the game, which is likely, or you're not enjoying the game, which is also likely if you're not getting the game. You know, like when I first played Devil May Cry 4, I didn't really get Devil May Cry, and they give me really hard enemies to fight, I'm just like, what do I even do? And then eventually you learn how to play Nero, and Dante, obviously. And you, to be honest, when I first played Dante, he seems complicated. But you kind of understand what he's doing a lot more intuitively than Nero in the first game I found. Even though Nero is designed to be, like, simpler. I just didn't really get the concept of his kit. Oh no! I didn't vote for him, so I don't care. For you, hero. Who are you? Let's dispense with the introductions and get straight to the Oh killing. no. Anonymous. Steampunk Anonymous. Okay, the camera's kind of close. Too close. 
but like this isn't a bad fight. At first I thought, am I supposed to lose this fight? Because there's orchestral music and this guy just goes ham after everyone else is just kind of a grunt dude. And normally in these kind of games, the first guy you meet, you're not really supposed to beat him or knock his full health bar down, you know, like Jetstream Sam. The first time you fight uh, the leader of the Black Dragon Ninja Clan in 2, you're not supposed to win. You're supposed to knock his health down a bit and then he goes, ha ha, I will leave, you lose in a cutscene. Just give me some space camera. You close into like RE4 distance. to have a little duel though, I like this. Feels much easier than the other boss fights I've fought in other Ninja Gaiden games, but... Aha, I killed you. Game over. I'm glad sometimes the subtitles decide they don't want to work. Oh no, goo! Please pay attention to this masked villain's accent. You will hear other people later that make you go, Hmm. <laughs> I think I know who is going to betray us later. Because this is like the British, British East British accent I've heard in a while. And I'm British, so. Glad I could stab him when I needed to, and then he was an illusion when it made sense for him to be an illusion. This is fine. I am fine. One minute to impact. Hey, I'm I'm waddling as fast as I can, lady. There's a lot of events like this where it's like Ryu will do a slow Marcus Phoenix walk and talk. Where he's like, uh, my arm! And, you know, I'm waddling, lady. Look, I made it, I think. Hayabusa! Huh? How disappointing. I had hoped the mighty dragon ninja would have put on more of a show. Look at this discount no, Modoc. Begin the next phase. Yes, sir. Like a familiar voice actor. Hayabusa! Can you hear me? Hayabusa! Come in! Oh, yes, the country rebel. Hayabusa? Yeah. We're coming to pick you up. I feel like that masked villain. His modulation was supposed to be more aggressive, and like you weren't supposed to know whose accent it was. Don't worry about it. What matters now is. But you've also got to remember this is made by that What's creepy the man. The soldiers withdrew. So the basically, every other character is a booby woman <laughs> with ridiculous physics. This new world has no need of nation states. No need of avaricious, incompetent prime ministers, or presidents, or kings, or despots. Yep, those are the four. Every nation, <laughs> That's every the only four you can have as leaders. Immediately agree to our terms of surrender. That you sounds reasonable. Exactly the number of days it took God to create the world. Took God six days to create the world. He rested on the seventh. <laughs> Destruction. 
Bluetooth headset looks like it's from 1998. Ah, yes. I am also London. What are they after? Vague anarchy? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, I think this blind run was a bad idea. <laughs> oh well, at least I'm kinda having fun.